Hi and welcome to this screencast to show you how bundle rate shipping module for WooCommerce works behind the scenes. Um, first of all we're going to activate the plugin which is just the same as with any other plugin. After we've done that I'm going to go to WooCommerce settings. Obviously you will need WooCommerce installed first otherwise this just will not do anything. Shipping. First of all Make sure that enable shipping is ticked, and down here you should see bundle rate listed under the shipping methods. So up the top here, there's a link to the bundle rate page, which is where we can edit the settings for the bundle rate shipping method. First, the first few are are fairly standard. They're the kinds that you see on the uh, flat flat rate shipping uh, module as well. So you can enable or disable it. Create a method title. Uh, method availability, tax status, and handling fee. Uh, I'll leave this one for now. There's an explanation of that in the documentation that comes with the plugin, which is really what I'd suggest you look at. Um, but for now, we're just going to look at the configuration. So below, I actually have some uh, configurations already done to sort of give you a, a quick idea of how this works. Um, I ha I'm running a fake shop that sells books and DVDs. I'm based in Australia, so that's that's the base of the shop. So what I've done is here this this first one. That's one configuration, and that is for books. Shipping class any. Um, if you are using shipping classes in your shop setup, you might want to use that. Um, I I'd suggest using either category or shipping class not both because it can get a little bit confusing otherwise. Um, priority is something you only have to really worry about if there's um, two configurations that are sort of equal um, th that are equally applicable to the one product but that that's sort of a more in-depth thing and that's also covered in the documentation. Um, and this first configuration is going to any destination. So any book going to anywhere in the world well, first product will cost six dollars for shipping, and every subsequent product will be three dollars. So if you have three books, that will be twelve dollars. Below that, I have a second one defined. Now, this is almost the same as the first one. Uh, it's going for books. Um, shipping classes apply to all, but it's applying to specific countries. Remember I said my shop was based in Australia, so I have special rates set for Australia and New Zealand, which are, which are actually cheaper. So the first product there is $5, and all subsequent products are a dollar, as opposed to $6 here and $3 there. Now, that's fairly basic, which basically means that any time a book is going to Australia or New Zealand, it's going to use this configuration. And any time a book is going anywhere else, it's going to use this configuration. Next, I've got DVDs, which I'm selling DVDs, and uh, as well as books. So this is a slightly different configuration. Pretty basic, so apply to all. This is going to any shipping destination. Uh, first three products will be three dollars, and after that they're all a dollar. So if you have four DVDs going out, that'll be ten dollars. Now let's add a configuration um, for DVDs going to Australia and New Zealand. So we're going to go select DVDs, apply to specific countries, Australia and New Zealand, and let's make it a bit cheaper. So let's say the first DVD is three dollars, and after that it's a dollar, which is a bit cheaper than the other one. And that's that. Well, how about we make it even more complex? How about we say the first one is three dollars, from two to five is a dollar, and after that it's free. So the max shipping will be three dollars for the first one, and then two to five, which is another four products. Four dollars, um, so seven dollars shipping if you if you order say six DVDs, um, and that's our configuration done. So let's click Save Changes, and this will now be applied when somebody selects DVDs or books in their shopping cart.